Hello Virgo, my Virgo friends, how are you? Happy February. This is your extended love reading and cross watcher reading. I just want to thank everyone who booked a reading from my February special. It, you know, you guys kept me busy. I appreciate you guys so, so much, which is kind of why these readings are a little behind. But anyway, let's pull a whispers of love oracle message just to get a overall love message for you Virgo sun moon rising and Venus I keep getting more than one card to come out so I guess we're going to take it love is all around you there is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth amen to that I'll take it treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply look at how beautiful that card is there's so many elements of that I mean, it's like the family unit coming together, the hands around protection, serenity, joy, peace, happiness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Those are your love energies that I'm pulling for my fellow Virgos. So how's February treating you? Let's find out what is going on for February for my fellow Virgos, sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. Let's just get a feeling on your love energies. Remember, this is a general reading, and so not all messages will resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you got a question in, honey, the message isn't for you. Leave it for another Virgo that needs to hear it. Or perhaps they're cross watchers. Hi, cross watchers. I got you. Look at that. The lover's card. Way to start a love reading, huh? What is going on for Virgos for the month of February 2019? Virgos love life. Tell me about Virgos love life. Indecision. Maybe you feel like you can't move forward. Things are a little a uh, bit of a pause in your partnership or relationship. Some of you just want to let go of that stagnation. Just start anew. Start something fresh. Take that leap of faith. However... There may be more than one person in the mix. You have two choices. Some of you are still hanging on to old ways. The end result for sure is that you want happiness. Happiness at the forefront. That's all that matters, right, Virgo? You're like, look at here. Get me to wherever it is that sun's going to be and I'm going right? You talk to the spirits, you talk to the divine, you're like, which way gets me to the sun the quickest? Do I really need to work with all these people? <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. Let me pull another row before we keep moving. Yeah, there's another three. So we've got three parties, three people, three choices, third party situations. Remember, it doesn't necessarily mean cheating before you guys start thinking, wait a minute, I don't have a third party. No, but it could be your mother-in-law, your sister, your, you know, family member, your coworker, someone sticking their freaking nose where it doesn't belong, right? That's a third party. Could be your kid. Like all of a sudden, your their parents not allowed to be happy. Anyway, I'm in a silly mood today. Seven of swords in reverse. So, this is what I'm going to say, warning to some of you Virgos, if you are indulging in third party situations, be careful because you will get caught. Nine of Cups in reverse. Now, those of you that are new to me, welcome. Seven of Cups, welcome. Not a single card in my deck is in reverse, FYI. I choose to read four solutions, and if anything comes up in reverse, it's because it has a greater meaning to you, okay? So here we go. Everyone is entitled to their own way of reading. You had two fall out. I'm going to take them because I feel like they fit. So you have the tower card and five of wands, and I know I've got my, my Virgos here that are always dealing with Scorpios. They're always around, right? But right now, I feel as though some of you may be going back and forth between an air sign and a water sign and perhaps another earth sign. doesn't have to be. These are just the signs I see right now because the lovers is Gemini. Swords is, you know, air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. 
Pentacles can be you or another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries here. Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is most definitely Scorpio. Oh, and we have the wands. Never mind. So we got everybody here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, prominently Aries. So here it is. What's going on with your love energy in the month of February? Some of you, as much as you want to move forward on a particular relationship, friendship, partnership, you're still feeling like you can't move on from a relationship from the past. Or those of you that are having fun dating more than one person, it's almost as though you're trying to figure out which one of these is going to make me the happiest. So let your people know that you're dating more than one person if you'd like, right? If you feel that it matters in your situation, simply because what I see here is the three of pentacles, the sun, the three of cups, seven of swords reverse, nine of cups reverse. So your ass is going to get caught if you are cheating, if you are lying, whatever it may be. If you're playing more than one person, if you're talking to more than one person and you're not being completely honest, be careful, okay? So if I go back to the January Virgo reading, right? I believe the majority, the, the, the overall message I got, if I can remember the January reading was someone from your past may come back in, show their face, want to make amends, but you're trying to move on. So this feels like a continuation of that. And so if you haven't fully let go of the past and you're trying to start something new with someone new, know that those energies are lingering, even though you're trying to start something new. So get out of the illusion and the delusion. If you know that your relationship from the past was no good. It was toxic. It doesn't apply to everyone, but some of you do know who that applies to. But this is a wake-up call for you because for some, I feel like the universe brought you, you know, exactly what you've been working for or wanting, you know, you're like, yeah, I manifested that shit. I got this new person coming in. I meet, I just met somebody or whatever it is, right? And then the past comes back to teach you a lesson, wake you the fuck up. And then it's like, oh shit, do I want my ex? Do I want this new person? What do I do? How do I move forward? Right? Well, my answer to that is always going to be, for all those I read for, is go towards happiness, go towards love doesn't necessarily mean be selfish, fuck everyone, right? Excuse my potty mouth. I should have warned you from the beginning. Maybe I need a little warning sign. That's just how the messages come out sometimes. Anyway, so at the end of the day, is one relationship going to make you happier than the other? Is there an equal give and take? What is the most important thing that you need to feel happy, secure, content in a relationship. If your relationship from the past didn't work, realize why it didn't work. And is there a possibility of those issues coming back to the forefront once again? So if you're indulging in some attention from the past, perhaps more for some of you, know that it can come back and bite you in the ass. And so it's time for you to really take some time and realize what it is that you want here. Because this is your wake up call, Virgo. Absolutely, this is your wake up call because you've got love coming towards you. Knight of Cups, you do have love coming towards you. This is the Knight of Cups. This is someone who, you know what? I'm ready to take action. I'm ready to move forward. Are you with me or not? And they look pretty serious, right? Let's see if you can get a good view of that card. I mean, look at that dude's face, right? He's like, um, you've got to decide once and for all, honey. You're going to go back towards the past or are we going to start this? 
or this could be your person from the past coming back saying, wait a minute, at just the most inconvenient time, of course, they see you moving on and then they're like, wait a minute, let me come back in, right? So for some of you, it is about communication. It is about this eight of wands flipped over as I was putting it down. I will take it. I feel like there's going to be a tug of war. Virgo, my lovely Virgos, you'll be right in the middle of it. I feel as though you have more than one partner. Again, January reading said romantic options. So for some of you that did not resonate with that, stick around. There's more to this reading. I'm going to be doing more than one layout. But this does feel as though this is a continuation from January's reading where you had, you know, romantic options, more than one person interested in you. And I feel as though this month you really find out who's worth your time, who's going to, you know, put their money where their mouth is, basically. I'll talk no action. We'll see about that. I feel as though there will be a tug of war for you, for your attention, whether it's the old person coming in trying to get you back, the new person trying to start something new and they have no idea the ex is coming in. Be careful. I do see someone getting caught here. If you're trying to make something work with someone, it's almost as though there is a third person here. I don't feel like it's a cheating thing. I feel as though perhaps you need to take into consideration someone's child, someone's family member, like a parent, like, you know, like you met someone and you, their, their parent is dependent on them so they don't have enough time for you. Or, you know, someone who has children and they're, they're going about it at a slower pace because it's like, I want to make this work, but I got two kids. <laughs> Are you up for that? I got two, three kids, whatever it may be, right? Are you up for that before I jump in head first? And so you go into this daydream island, but then something is going to happen to wake you up about it. And with the five of wands here, you know, whether that's inner conflict or a tug of war of two potential romantic partners both coming at you with their cupid's you know wands of love communication they're coming at you hard like fierce they're not wasting any time especially with this week being that it is valentine's day week don't be surprised my fellow virgos don't be surprised that they come packing some heat in a good way if you know what i mean <laughs> So, yeah, I see a lot of interesting things coming up for you, Virgos. You, you know, there comes a time where you need to decide which is the path that you truly want. Because I feel as though you finally get what you want. You manifested this new partnership after you've put behind the old. And yet, somehow, there's still a part of you that just can't seem to move forward, right? And you just don't know why. It's like you can't even explain it. That is for some of you Virgos. Let's pull another deck and see what else comes up for my, my lovely Virgos. Let's get, that was the Arcanum. Let's do the Thelema. Okay, so what else is going on this month? For Virgos, Six of Wands. Look at that, Eight of Wands. Does the popular vote win? The Hermit, that is you. Three of Wands. The Star card. So you got a lot of fire sign, a lot of fire here. Passion. But passion can be hot and heavy, but it can also be anger. So be careful. 
Virgo, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Hanged Man, Ace of Wands, more passionate energy. Someone's going to have a good one, right? Queen of Cups, in reverse, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Page of Wands, Six of Cups. So if you have a water sign from the past, you do not take their offer. <sighs> yeah, and there is that Scorpio again. Let me show you what came up in reverse. The, t the Hierophant, the Judgment card, and the Death. I'm showing these to you because those are three majors. That is a big, big message, right? If you've got a Scorpio coming back from your past trying to work things out, I do feel that some of you aren't going to take this offer seriously. There's no chance you're like, there's a no-go here. I want something traditional. You can't give it to me. I want consistency. I want a new version, a reawakening of what we had in the past in order for us to continue. You can't give it to me. So what are you going to do about it? And so there is no new beginning. That's for some of you, not all of you. I did want to show you that message because it was three major cards and so that's important. So what I have here, most likely a continuation of what I just pulled. Six of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Hermit card, Three of Wands, and the Star. Hanged Man, Ace of Wands. Hanged Man, Ace of Wands, the Queen of Cups in reverse, Page of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So whoever this is from your past, whether fire or water, or they have both in their chart. Oh, and there it is again. I believe the last time, the last reading I did for Virgo did have Scorpio and Sag, because that's what I'm seeing here, along with Aquarius. A lot of fire, a lot of fire. I really feel that one of them is gonna do more talking more love bombing, more like trying to reminisce of how good things used to be from the past. And then you've got the new person trying to, you know, plan out this future with you. And you're just trying to find the light. You're just like, spirit, please, which way do I go? Which way, Virgo, does your lantern glow the brightest? And so you've got your three of wands here waiting for your ships to come in. Again, I feel as though for those of you that have been waiting for this new relationship to come in, this is the relationship that you've been manifesting, that you've been working on, that you've told, you know, spirit, universe, your guides, whoever it may be, whoever you pray to, that you said, heal me and bring me the relationship that I deserve. Because I've poured enough of myself into relationships that haven't worked. And it's time for my happily ever after. Show me that there's hope in a future relationship, in a new relationship. And yet, you're still thinking about what has come in for you. This new beginning. I am telling you, Virgo, you have more than one offer. You do. You have more than one offer coming in. And if they have not made these offers known to you, know that you have quite a few admirers, Virgo. Be careful of emotional manipulation. If this person from your past comes in because they see you're moving on and they want you back simply so that you don't move on, know that... This is not the, the, this is not the way for you to gain clarity, consistency, stability. I feel like you end up holding on to the past. For those of you that do go back to a relationship from the past, you will be holding on to past energies to continue to keep this relationship alive. And you think, yes, he finally, he or she finally came back. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Temperance and the death card, right? Starting over again, but taking your time with this new beginning.
closing out karmic cycles. So things start to move forward. Now, who you move forward with, Virgo, is completely up to you. Do you close out that karmic cycle from the past? Do you go backwards? Do you close out one relationship to go back to an old one? The new one doesn't last very long. You start going back to old ways, trying to figure out what is next. What do I do from here on out? I really feel as though many of you may be stuck in confusion and indecision. You finally hear what you've been wanting to hear from your ex or doesn't have to be your ex. It can be someone that maybe you've had a crush on that you've admired for so long. Someone that you've longed to get to know, to date and they see you dating someone new. They see you interested in someone new and then they realize, oh shit, she's moving on and I haven't even had a chance to ask her out. And now you're like, let me see what what this what this um turns into right and so we have teaching and learning keep an open mind and learn new ideas then teach these ideas to others these are messages from your archangels archangel messages clairvoyance i am helping you I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So understand and know that the, that the messages you may be receiving when you're meditating, when you're sleeping, a sudden thought, feeling, smell comes in. Know that this is your guides. These are your guides that are trying to communicate with you and point you to the right direction. Which path leads you to true happiness? Which path is the right path for you? I mean, I'm sure you guys have heard that saying, you know, when your past comes back knocking on your door after you've been trying to move on, know that it's a lesson. And how do you take it from there? So let's find out what is going on with our Virgo cross watchers. Let's see what is going on with our Virgo cross watchers. Virgo cross watchers don't want me to find out the skinny on you guys. What's the skinny on the Virgo cross watchers? All right, Virgo cross watchers. What is the most important message Virgo cross watchers need to hear? Most important message Virgo cross watchers need to hear. Did they come out? No, yes, no. Let's see. Okay. Most important message Virgo cross watchers need to know, need to hear. Ten of Wands. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Ace of Wands. Three of Wands. Five of Swords. Five of Cups. I see where this is going. Mm, mm, mm. that three of pentacles shows itself again you know where i'm going with this virgo cross watchers ten of cups don't make promises you cannot keep. Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands and the Hierophant card. Let me tell you something, Cross Watchers. 
if you're upset that your Virgo met someone new and they're moving on, right? A part of you is like, do I make a real legit offer, offer them everything that they've been wanting that I knew I couldn't give them that the new person is giving them? Or do I go back to being wishy-washy, coming and going, not really doing much? But if I tell them that I was wanting the same thing that they had been asking for, the, th the same thing that they had been wanting, I feel as though you're not going to give up. If the cross watcher is the ex, because this feels like ex vibes. Totally. This feels like if it's not an ex, this feels like someone who freaking lagged it on asking a Virgo out and now is probably regretting it, right? Like, why did I lag it? Why did I choose to do stupid shit instead of, you know, asking that person out, going out with them, you know, moving on this path a little more seriously? Because that five of swords... It's like winning at all costs. You're going to be a pill, a pain in the ass to them. And some of you aren't even going to care if you're a third party. Let me tell you. You're just like waiting for this new relationship to fall apart. And then you you don't even care if, if your Virgo is this way. Like, uh, okay, now I'm confused. What do I do? But at the same time, it's like you want your cake and eat it too. Don't make promises you can't keep. If you know you can't give your Virgo 10 of cups, marriage, stability, passion, happiness, consistency, don't do it. If you are willing to work at it, then do it. Let me pull a few clarifiers. Five of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles again. Repeated card. I believe that's already come out three times for you. Wow. Three of Cups with a freaking Three of Cups. Wow. Third party vibes for sure. Five of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Five of Cups. That's double Scorpio right there. The Death card. Six of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands with the Eight of Wands. On the Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups with the Four of Wands. Two of Pentacles gives you the Two of Swords. So that's another repeated card. Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Wow. With the Lovers and the Hierof Hierophant with the Judgment card. Excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Okay, sorry about that. So, again, I definitely feel that this is the energy of my Virgo cross watcher that I'm reading, who's either the ex or someone who was a little too slow on making a move on that Virgo. So with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, you're starting to feel like, wow, I wasted a lot of time. I'm carrying this weight, this burden, and now I'm like left outside in the cold, right? Like, how do I move forward? I want this new beginning. I want to make this work. I don't care if I'm a third party because the Three of Cups twice and the Three of Pentacles twice says it. It's almost as though you're willing to be that third party flirt, that third party, you know, friend that they hang out with because you're like, I'm going to keep this Virgo close to me in case this new partnership relationship doesn't work out. I'm going to step in. 
And we've got some really harsh energies here with the Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, cross watcher, if that's what you are up against, they're winning at all costs. I feel as though they're not going to let this person go. I feel as though this is between an air and a water sign. Yeah, everything I'm looking at here, it's like air, water, fire. So between air, water, and fire, you, you as the cross watcher, and if you are the Scorpio or the water sign here, who's wanting to stick around, who's wanting to keep in touch. You maybe focus on the fact that it didn't work out and you've maybe lost an opportunity to make this work. And you want to propose an offer of moving forward together and making it work. Some of you will actually propose having an open relationship. Because how they see it is, I love you and I'm not going to let you go. And I want to give you everything that you want and what I can't want, this other person can give you or vice versa. Because I swear, Virgos, you got some, you got some people coming in that are willing to make it work even if it's more than one person. Doesn't mean that's what you want. I'm just saying you got people that are not going to back down. And it's almost like this nervous Virgo, like, oh my God, what if I make the wrong choice? What do I do? Go towards love, but know some energies are used to coming and going. Do you give a relationship, a marriage, another chance? Do you give it an opportunity to create something new and more traditional than what it was in the past that is completely up to you virgo virgo and cross watchers here cross watcher if that is what you are trying to propose to your virgo to try and give them a much more stable committed possibly even marriage for some of you so be careful what you wish for. Some of you Virgos that are like, who are these people? I don't know who all these third party people are. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's pull up some separate energies before I move on to the next part of this reading. Tell me about my straight up single Virgos that don't don't have these third party situations. Tell me about my straight up single Virgos. What do they have going on? King of Swords. You may be meeting or have met an Aquarius Libra Gemini. King of Swords. Ooh, who's going to make you happy? Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Happily ever after. That is like happy life, happy wife. Emotional fulfillment. Got you feeling all kinds of warm fuzzies, even though it doesn't look like that with that card. Yeah, look at that. Wish fulfillment. I said it and it came out with the Nine of Cups. Two other cards flew out with the Justice card and the Temperance card. Slow. For those of you that have manifested this relationship, this partnership that you've been wanting, Take your time with it. Do the right thing by you. Don't indulge in old energies that have you trapped in your head. Self-imposed prison, right? Some of you may want to hurry up and like run with this relationship. Take your time. Find your balance. Find your inner peace. Some of you may have just gotten out of a really tough relationship you're having a really hard time moving on but i feel that you know the worst is over now ten of wands knight of swords yeah it's like you've taken a break look at that ten of pentacles 
Yeah, so for those of you that are straight up singles that are like, who are all these third party situations? It's not me. What is going on here? Well, what I get the feeling here for this particular reading. Oh, I just want to tell you guys. Look at that. The sun at the bottom. Nice. Okay, so what I want to tell you here is some of you that are straight up singles, not dealing with the third party issues, not dealing with the exes, things like that. You've gotten out of a toxic relationship, stressful relationship, whatever it may be for you. And so you're still a little stuck on those past energies. You haven't fully released yourself from them. They still weigh on you pretty heavily. And you know that you need to cut out the bullshit from the past because you're starting something new with someone new who's going to bring you, you know, complete and total emotional fulfillment and happiness. So the stability you need financially and in the home. You can, I can see this turning into like happy home. Finding your stability in the home. And you feel like finally, I feel balanced. I feel at peace. I can breathe now, not because of the finances, that's a bonus, because of the emotional bullshit you went through from your past and now you don't have to worry about that with this one. Makes you want to like hurry up and rush things, but you really need to temper yourself and slow down. Enjoy every moment. Do what you need to do to find your way through this. Enjoy every moment of this, of this new chapter for you because it is wish fulfillment. But if you go through it way too fast, you'll realize you missed a lot of the little details. So that was a little quick mini straight up single Virgos. I know I'm jumping around a little bit. My ADD is like kicking in. So let's go back to the cross watchers. Cross watchers, we're going to do all signs, right? So Virgo. Let me have two cards for a Virgo dealing with an Aquarius. Two cards, please. Knight of Cups, there is a love offer coming in from an Aquarius. Look at that. Very nice. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, you can. Uh, this could be an Aquarius with water in their chart. This is, if it's a Virgo dealing with an Aquarius, you've got love offers coming in. There's a really emotional bond between the two of you. Emotional fulfillment. So much happiness and contentment between a Virgo and an Aquarius. What's after Aquarius? I'm a little lost right now. Pisces. Virgo and Pisces. Virgo and Pisces with the Page of Cups. And the justice card okay page of cups so this is a younger person someone who's perhaps not as mature enough to take something to the next level I feel as though you want some equal give and take here and you know they probably can't give it to you but you indulge in their energy nonetheless I really feel as though you're gonna challenge them into meeting you at your pace, at your speed. This Pisces may be able to give you what you want. However, no, it's going to be a really long process. What's after Pisces? Thanks, Terry. I get confused now. Thank you for my uh, subscriber, Terry, who gave me the suggestion of pulling cards for each one each sign Virgo dealing with. So that's Aquarius, Pisces. Is it Aries? Jesus. Ace of Cups. 
Oh, yikes. That's an ouch. Ten of swords. Virgo, if you're dealing with an Aries, hard fucking betrayal. This is an, e like, they don't even have, like, 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 this bitch, right? Like, they had the balls not only to, like, they didn't even stab you in the back. They faced you and they stabbed you in the front. Do you see that? You may have been the one to have given them love and support, but they fucking stabbed you in the back. Who's after Aries? Is that Gemini? Virgo and Gemini. Knight of Wands. And the Five of Cups. Okay. Well, you got a player here. Comes in, makes you feel all good. Pays attention to you for a minute, leaves, and they leave you like that. Five of cups, despair, sadness. You feel like withdrawing. They're only good for that short-term attention span that they have, and that's as long as they can give you attention for. After Gemini, what is it? Um, oh, wait, I missed Taurus, didn't I? So I skipped Taurus. So here we go. Um, let's do Taurus. We're going Taurus. Three of Pentacles. One more card. Stop giving me too many. One more. Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Sun card. So even though you're heartbroken, even though that third party situation, maybe you get caught, maybe you catch someone in the third party situation, there's a lot of uh, disappointment. You're still going to be happy in the end. There is a happily ever after here. Doesn't mean it's with them though. Make yourself happy first, Virgo. Let's go back. So I had skipped Taurus by mistake. Let's move on to Cancer. The Moon card. Secrets and illusions and the four of pentacles. Safeguard yourself. Guard your heart, your energy, your money. Lock, double lock and key, Virgo. If you are dealing with a cancer, watch out. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Not all of them. Don't get crazy. But they're spinning a web of everything that you want to hear. And they know how to tell you and what to tell you. There are things that you do not see here. And so what they're doing is they're putting up this really nice front that you will believe. However, before you move forward with the cancer, think twice. I'm not saying don't move forward with them. I'm saying get all the information and guard yourself, right? So Virgo's dealing with the Leo. Four of Swords, Page of Wands. Okay, so you're taking a break. You're not quite sure if you're ready to like play the field if you're newly single because I get the sense that some of you Virgos that are newly single and you just met this Leo, they're kind of going at a different, like at a snail's pace. At the same time, so are you and I really feel as though you need to. Don't overthink things. Sleepless nights, anxiety, you know, take as long of a break as you need, Virgo. Virgo, dealing with Virgo. Stagnation, indecisiveness. One more card. Virgo, dealing with a Virgo. Virgo. 
Yeah, you've put in a lot of work into a situation. You waited for it to freaking pay out. And you're like, I, I don't know if I want to stick around this any longer. It's just not paying out the way I had, I had anticipated. Like all this work for nothing, right? Virgo with the Libra. Five of Pentacles. Ooh, Seven of Swords. Yikes. Yeah. Someone was being freaking shady and deceptive. You caught them in a lie and you said, screw you, get the hell out. You're caught. See, this is someone who is like halfway through leaving. They almost got all the swords and they, they're escaping. But look at where they're looking. They know they just got caught. And that's where they end up. Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold for being an asshole. So, Virgo with Scorpio energies. And the Scorpio comes out, of course. The Death card. Virgo's dealing with the Scorpio. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Three of Cups, which is what came out in the beginning. And the Six of Wands. So if Mr. or Ms. Scorpio is quite the popular friend or person. Third party situations here because they love being the center of attention. Or maybe this is you and you're keeping Scorpio around because you like their attention. Virgo and Sagittarius. What is going on with Virgo and Sagittarius partners? King of Pentacles and the Hermit card. Okay. Taking your time, going within, trying to figure out what the next step is. Know that whatever decision you choose to take this path, you can make it happen. You can manifest it. You've got the Midas touch or perhaps they do. But I do feel that with the right action plan, you can make something out of this. You've got the answers that you need. The two of you know which pace at which you know, which way you want to take this partnership or relationship. Virgo and Capricorn. Partnerships with Virgo and Capricorn. Ooh, the lovers. Okay, so Virgo's dealing with Capricorn. You got the lovers card. And what other card? One more card, please, for Capricorn. I just put them in the center so I can get them all. And the chariot card. So, full steam ahead. You're not waiting. If a Capricorn came into the picture, if you just met them, this is, a, this is an energy where you're like, you know what? Let's do this. We're not waiting around. Let's make something. Let's grow. Let's build. Let's do something with this partnership, this relationship. You have a strong chemistry. And I definitely feel that the two of you can make this a very, very successful an abundant partnership. I see it. Full steam ahead. Charge ahead. Be happy. All of my Virgos with whoever they are dealing with partner-wise here. Right? Let me put these to the side over here. So I know in my normal readings, I generally do singles and couples. And I've already done the singles and the other one. But let's see what is going on for... Virgo couples, February 2019. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Whoever you are dating, seeing, could be a new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. One more, please. Oh, this is a long reading. Oops, sorry. Wow, too many cards. Healing family issues. No wonder I had to take a deep breath. Oh yeah, I felt that. Virgo couples, married, exclusively dating. Some of you may be in-betweeners. Perhaps you just started dating. You have a strong connection. You want to see where this goes. This is a new love for some of you. And you're just still trying to figure out where to go from here. 
those healing family issues though be careful heal yourself from that situation look at that king of pentacles in reverse Heal yourself from those family issues page of swords came out in reverse um okay calm down deck so here it is some of you yes you've met your soulmate this is a new love that has come in if not this is someone who you've been seeing and you have a resurgence of love where you finally realize hold the fuck up are you my soulmate right i think they are most of you some of you you'll know when you know you know but i feel that for some of you you can't even see the type of partner you have here because there are family issues that you need to heal from that may be holding you back from moving forward from trusting a new partner from building a relationship a home with someone okay this deck i mean i know i'm a little hyper today i know it's obvious Slow your roll, calm down. Okay, here we go. Clarify these for my married peeps, for my coupled up peeps, seven of wands. For some of you that are dealing with these family issues, you are not able to see that you have a new love or a resurgence of your partner coming around the corner or that you are dealing with a soulmate. There is some heartache and disappointment here, especially for you married people. Okay, something I just got right now. If someone all of a sudden who's this new love suddenly asks you to marry him and you're like, what the fuck? We just met. We just started dating. We just started seeing each other. There is going to be some like seriously sad disappointment, heartache. Like, how do I hold on to you without hurting you? Because it doesn't mean that I don't want to marry you. It just means like you're moving way too fast, right? And you're just like, slow down, slow down. It's like, look, it, I see it. I see it. It's like, you're pushing them away. You're like, can we just take our time, please? Don't rush anything. Let's just take our time, please. Ace of Wands, that passionate new beginning between two soulmates. It's there. Don't rush it. It's about getting along and seeing eye to eye with everyone. I feel that the minute they push you away, you may be feeling a little off, like put off by it. But eventually it'll, you'll snap out of it and you'll realize. I'm talking to the cross watcher, obviously. <laughs> They'll realize. Yeah, maybe they were rushing it. Maybe you were rushing it, right? So, new love. Some people are going to put work into this new love. Look at that. Ace of Cups and Four of Swords. So those of you that have been on a break, that have just started seeing someone recently, and they come in with this big cup of love, overflowing, making you feel like you're just so the queen of it all. They've got this passionate new love for you. They come in. They make an offer. They want to take care of you. They want to make a life with you. Now, if this new love comes in and it's like, you're my soulmate, marry me, and you just met them, slow them down. Pump your brakes, homeboy or girl. Healing family issues. So what could be preventing this from expanding is that you're a bit guarded due to family issues that have affected your view of marriage and relationships or how a household might be run because of what you were raised in and so heal yourself work with this new person and your family to make amends make peace figure out what is worth clearing what is worth fighting for and don't go rushing in to your family and saying you ruined my life because you didn't get along with so and so you had a poor example 
of what marriage or partnership or relationship is and then you go in there and you you know say all this shit and ruin their you know their happy home because you can't make yours virgo don't do that don't do that petty it's okay to move forward slowly as long as you're moving forward but you've got to get this clarity on your own without blaming other people king of swords so you may not get the receptive energy when you go in trying to you know make a scene about how like i met this great person and i can't move forward because you were a poor example of what marriage and love is growing up what am i supposed to do i'm not ready for them i'm I can't give them what they want because you didn't give me what you want. You know, for those of you dealing with parental issues, right? Perhaps grew up in a dysfunctional home. So, yeah, that was your reading. A super long one. I think I covered everybody. Extended, love life, cross watcher, every sign, singles, married peeps. You guys, everyone. I got to stop saying you guys. Everyone, have a very happy Valentine's Day. Have a wonderful month. I will try to get back on here, hopefully do a live after Valentine's Day and check up on you guys, okay? Have a great one, Virgos. I love you guys. Take care. Oh, before I forget, thank you for those that booked a February special. You guys rock. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. If you would like to book a personal reading, my email is in the description box below. VirgoAngelTarot at gmail.com. And please, I would love it if you liked, commented, shared, or subscribed. You guys are the best, and I appreciate you. Take care. Bye.